the 1,000 metre mark of the final of the women's eighth, the first World Cup Regatta 2005 bearing point series. And China looked pretty impressive in the first thousand. They were off quick off the start. They got into a quite a nice rhythm here. And all they're doing is just making the boat go fast. It's all about creating speed, letting the boat do the work. You're just moving it along. I've got to say, though, the seven girl, the one on the right there, <laughs> looks a bit heaved through the finish in terms of, but it's effective, obviously. Strong it's, stuff. I and, mean, I mean, you know, I like to see women rowing like that as well. I like to see them getting their legs down fast and really swinging through the back end, through, through the finish. You know, we're always taught the longer your oar is in the water, then the more your boat moves per stroke. And that's exactly what they're doing into this really, really, really strong headwind today here at Donny Lake. So a lane order for you in lane one when we're alongside Australia are pushing hard and have just probably overtaken. There's a big, big battle there between Australia in lane one, Great Britain in lane number two. In the lane three, Romania and China in lane number four. Now, Romania are the Olympic champions, but not this boat. They're a completely new boat again. All their Olympic champions have taken a year off, deciding whether they're going to come back. But Romania have created another boat and another powerful boat here. So there's two races developing. There's the one out front at the moment for the gold medal position between China and Romania and Great Britain, Australia fighting for the bronze medal. Does cast your eyes up to the top of the picture and all these parked cars that's just a reflection on the on the on the crowd here it's a brilliant turnout today i think it's something in the region of 10,000 spectators have come along normally when we go to these regattas you know we, we don't get anywhere near as many spectators so good atmosphere the most exciting part of any eight race is the closing 500 where all the crews go up through 40 41 strokes per minute and uh, China are doing that because Romania have pushed on again. The race for the gold medal between China and Romania. China in lane four. That's them there, Romania in lane number three. You can just see the white bows on the left of your picture. That's Australia and up in lane number one, having the better of Great Britain in lane number two. A separate battle there for the bronze medal looking like Australia. But out front, China are being pushed hard by Romania. It certainly looks like Romania have kept something up their sleeve for, the, for these last uh, couple of hundred metres here. And uh, the, the seven girl that you were talking about in the Chinese boat earlier on, well, she's really, really beginning to struggle. Uh, you can just see her, there she is in the picture. But wow, she's still giving it some, isn't she? And she's not going to let these Romanians through. Romanians, though, up the raid again. They're on 42 strokes per minute and sprinting. And there go the Chinese again responding. You can just see now as the crowds on the far side show their appreciation and shout them home on the left and out of the picture. Great Britain will also get the roar because they're going to have to come back on terms with uh, Australia, which they are doing. And the Great Britain crew now have pushed through Australia into the bronze medal position. Out front, it's going to be gold for China and silver for Romania. And Great Britain are having the better of this struggle with Australia. And Great Britain will get the bronze medal. A pretty good start for the 2005 uh, session for them. And they'll be happy with that result there, Gillian. Oh, I would have thought so. You know, they've got so much to, uh, to, to improve on. They've got so, and they all have time on the side. You know, the crew average is, is 22 years of age. So they have, uh, like I say, they have time on the side to get it right. So you can see the exhaustion on the faces of uh, Romania. Now, Romania, the Olympic champions, but a new crew here. But it's all very close, as the confirmation will be coming through pretty shortly there. But the road to Beijing for China is...